Good evening. Welcome to my laboratory. Uh, what you're looking at here is a flat pancake coil uh, uh, wound in the Tesla bifiler manner uh, from patent 340, or I'm sorry, 512340. This is my Fluke 87.3 multimeter. And here's uh, some paper and a pen to record some results. Okay, so the uh, it's kind of hard to see how this works. There are 116 total turns on here, and that's uh, 58 and 58, the two windings. The You can see I've got three wires connected here. The yellow wire comes in, goes, spirals around and around and around and around and around, and then comes out after 58 turns to the center tap, which is where the red wire is, and then that connects to the top of the second winding, so it goes around and around and around and around and around to the center, and comes out here and goes to the black, the black wire. Okay, so the the two windings, the bifiler windings, are connected in series just like the Tesla patent and then I've got the center tap where the two windings are connected available on the red wire. So what I'm going to do is test the resistance of the total coil and then I'm going to test the resistance of the individual coils one at a time by using the center tap. Okay. So here's the Fluke 83. Let's turn it on to the resistance mode. We've got some nice short windings here, or uh, probe leads here. So I'm going to select the high precision mode. There. And okay. So there we are in the high precision mode of, of the fluke multimeter. First, what I'm going to do is just check the resistance of the uh, of the probe leads themselves. We'll clip them together, like so. And uh, you can see we have not 0.73 or not 0.74 ohms, 7.2. Okay, let's write that down. 0.72 ohms for the resistance of the leads themselves. Now, let's get the uh, Tesla by filer coil over here and let's measure uh, let's measure the between the yellow and the black leads there. So this is the whole coil, the entire coil. And it measures 4.54 4 ohms. Okay, and so minus 0.72 that gives us 2 8. 3.82 ohms for the whole coil accounting for the leads. Now let's measure just one of the windings from the yellow to the red lead. Okay. And that's uh, 2.6, we'll call it 2.64 ohms minus 0 0.72 is 2.9, it's 1.92 ohms for the first half of the coil. 
And now for the second half of the coil, we go from the yellow lead to the black lead, and now we're measuring from the black lead to the center tap. And that reads 2.64 ohms. And again, minus 0.72 gives us 1.92 ohms total. And so let's add that up. 1.92 plus 1.92 is 4, 18. 3.84 ohms so just as expected if there is any magical resistance reduction in this setup where is it happening each half of the coil measures 1.92 ohms the whole coil measures 3.82 ohms slight error there in the last decimal place two one hundredths of an ohm QED. Thank you for watching.